This is the Shock Absorber Netball Academy at intersport.com. In this guide, we're going to look at the fake shot technique. Over the course of a match, a good defender will probably use a range of defending techniques in an attempt to distract you and to intercept the ball as you shoot. The fake shot is one of the ways that you can deceive a defender who's using the jump technique when you're shooting. The double action of the fake technique is a fairly easy skill to master. What's more difficult is timing, so that the defender believes your first movement enough to commit to a jump or extended lean. If you get it right, then the defender will jump up or over lean in response to your first movement, resulting in them landing down or having to step sideways. However, if you mistime your fake shot or use it so often that the defender simply ignores it, then it may leave you with no shooting opportunity or your three seconds running out. So let's look at the key points of the fake shot that you'll need to remember. Set up as you would for a regular shot with a ball held above your head, resting on the pads of your fingers of your preferred shooting hand and your wrist under the ball. Begin the normal shooting action, exactly as you would for your basic shot, except that rather than releasing the ball, stop suddenly, somewhere before release point, rotating the fingers of your non-shooting hand around to stop the ball from slipping out. Return the ball quickly to the starting position, and then proceed with a normal shot at the goalpost, focusing on the flight of the ball and exactly where you want the ball to go into the net. A good tip for practicing the fake shot is to concentrate on making the first movement exactly like your basic shot. You shouldn't set up or begin the movement any differently to your normal basic shot. If you do, then a defender might realise and won't react. So that's the fake shot, but let's recap on all the key points. The fake shot is one of the ways you can deceive a defender, and the double action of the fake technique should be a fairly easy skill to master. But the timing is more difficult. It can really mislead the defender. Set up as you would for a regular shot and begin the normal shooting action, exactly as you would for your basic shot. Stop suddenly, somewhere between the release point, rotating the fingers of your non-shooting hand around and in front of the ball. Return the ball quickly to the starting position and then proceed with a normal shot at the goalpost. So that's the fake shot technique mastered. You can practice your shooting using a range of different drills from this series of videos. So why not check out a shooting drill now or maybe watch another guide on shooting skills. Intersport.com, the home of world-class netball coaching online.